Nothing's changed, Anna, and it's not likely to for a while. You really should go home and get some rest. Come on, Anna. Heard what Steve said. I'm going to take you home. No, no. I keep thinking about Buzz and, and being tortured in the enemy camp. It's horrible. Well, Buzz is a very brave man. Yeah, I don't know him very well, and he doesn't know much about me either, but Sean and I will remedy that when he gets better, I promise. I'm going to stay here. You go on, and I, I'll catch a cab home. I, I think you better not for today. Besides, mm. Robin needs you. Oh, you're right. Yes. Oh, I'll go home. Um, Steve, would you contact me if there's any change in Buzz's condition? Yeah, excuse problem. me. Excuse me, Anna. I, I, I need to talk to you. Did you catch the man who did this to Buzz? No, not yet. Will you excuse us? Sure. Excuse sure. Me, Steve. It's about Lucy Coe. Yeah? She seems to be trying to get close to another of the O'Connor boys. What do you mean? I saw Patrick with her at the nurse's station. He gave her a rose and he had his arm around her when they went out. Oh, strange. Well, this, this may not mean anything. However, until we find the brownstone murderer, we have an obligation to follow up any lead. So we will. Hi, Rick. I've been looking for you. How's Buzz's condition? Well, about the same. He's still unconscious, stable. I think uh, Jimmy Lee's condition is worse than Buzz's at this point. I must say I've never seen him so upset. How's Buzz really? Well, you know that we're not going to learn anything additional until he regains consciousness. You said you want to see me. Yeah, I've, uh, I've taken out a new insurance policy. I need a complete physical. I was wondering, how's your time today? I have surgery in just a few minutes, but I could do it after that. Well, that's great, thanks. Uh, I'm increasing the coverage on my life insurance. And, you know, in case something happens to me, I want to make sure that Monica and the boys are very well taken care of. Oh, that's very thoughtful. I keep meaning to ask you, and I keep forgetting. Have you talked to Grant and the hospital ship? I know you have a big investment there. Yeah, I was wondering about that myself. I'll tell you, if Sean Donnelly knows anything at all, you sure not tell him to me. Morning, Felicia. Um, do you have an extra umbrella? I heard there's going to be a big storm, and I don't have mine with me. Since I have very little work for you to do today, I'll yep. try and get you up before the rain hits. How's that? Well, I'm glad to hear that you don't have very much work for me today, because I have something I want to talk to you about. Okay, shoot. Sean? Mm-hmm? I'm not going to be working for you anymore. I'm going to be working for myself. What kind of work? I'm starting my own school supply store at the Student Union at the University, and I'm so excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Frisco and I were getting married in June, and there really isn't that much money, so I'm going to open up a loan at the credit union at the University so that I can start my own business. <laughs> you really are excited about this, aren't you? Yes. And it's just not another job. You're starting up your own business. Yes, that's what my business professor said. Mm -hmm. He even suggested that I do it. He even co-signed for the loan. That's great. All the profits will be mine after expenses, and I just know that I can make a go of it. <laughs> I hope it's not going to be a big problem for you if I leave. No, oh, no, no problem. I want to miss you. I'm sorry I wasn't able to pay you enough, but, uh, you know how things have been around here. Yeah. Well, I feel like a rat deserting the ship. Don't worry about me. I think this is a golden opportunity, and I'm very, very happy for you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You know, the wedding is only a month and a half away, and there's so much to do. I'm so excited. Oh, you I got a letter from my grandmother, and she sent me this picture of the family wedding gown. It's very old. Oh. My mother wore it, and even my grandmother wore it. Yeah. And she sent it to me so that I can wear it. It's beautiful. Very beautiful. Oh, and she sent me something else. It was a big surprise. I love surprises. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's gorgeous. Now, this goes right This is right the comb. It's for the mantilla. Right yeah. You can see it in the picture. Sure can. That's pretty. Very pretty. You know, I think I'm going to call Frisco. I think this is going to get him really excited about the wedding plans. Don't okay. Think so? I'll dial. All right. All right. All right. There you go. Thanks. Okay. Or what? It's probably out with Jake. Look a little worried, Princess. You don't think that 
Oscar's getting cold feet about this wedding, do you? No, I don't think so, but he's just so busy. He doesn't want to think about the wedding right now. He spends all his time with Jake and Lucy Cole. Lucy Cole? <laughs> I can understand him spending time with Jake, but why Lucy Cole? He feels very guilty about forcing her to, to tricking her to tell the truth at Kevin's trial. You, uh, wouldn't happen to be a little jealous about her, would you? <laughs> no, I would be jealous of Lucy. No, Lucy is not a person that most people would be jealous of. Oh. She's very mousy. I see. What's the matter, Sean? You look worried about something. I was Grant Andrews on the phone. He's calling from Egypt. Grant, what did he say? He said that the medical ship had been sunk. What happened? He thinks it was sabotage. There's a lot of terrorism in that part of the world right now. That's horrible. Can it be salvaged? Well, according to Grant, total loss. They blew it up. What's Grant going to do? Is he coming back to Port Charles? No. No, he took a job in an Egyptian hospital. He won't be back. Oh, Sean, I'm so sorry. This came at a bad time for you. Mm -hmm. I know how important that income from that ship was. Yeah, that's important to me. I was counting on it. But I'm not half as upset as my partners are going to be. That's right, it's going to be a terrible blow for Jimmy Lee and Alan. Yeah. No sense in putting off the inevitable. Uh, do me a favor, will you? Call, call General Hospital. See if you can locate Alan. Tell him I want to talk to him. Sure. Love the perfume you brought me. It's so <laughs> yummy. Hi, Thank Ruby. You. Uh, Bobby, here's a message for you. Thanks, Amy. Actually, we came down to see if there's any change in Buzz's condition. He's still unconscious. Jimmy Lee's in there with him now. Mm. How are you, Ruby? Well, I was worried about Buzz. I got Trixie to take over Kelly's. I'm meeting down for lunch. Good. Is it raining out yet? No. I heard there's a big storm <laughs> on the way, though. Oh, it's just black out there. And how did you like that thunder and lightning? I don't. You know, maybe I ought to give a hurricane party. I mean, the house is kind of lonely and everybody else is at the hospital and Jake and Felicia and, and Frisco are always out running around all over the place. And Tony and Tanya are here more than their home and now Patrick is too, I guess, because Buzz. Well, then I think a party's a great idea. Tonight. You're on. <laughs> Tenth floor, Miss Vining speaking. Hi, Amy, it's Felicia. Um, I'm trying to locate Alan Quartermain. You're right on time. Oh, yes, and we better hurry if we want to beat that storm. Yeah. Alan just got off the elevator, Felicia. Hold on. So how'd the checkup go? He passed with flying colors. Nice to know I'm so healthy. Alan, it's Felicia for you. Thank you, Amy. We're having lunch at the Rib. Anyone care to join us? I'd love Hello? to, but we have surgery scheduled very soon. Okay. Go. Yeah, I'll hold. Uh, yes, Sean, what can I do for you? Alan, I think you and Jimmy Lee should come over to my office sometime today. I have some news about the medical ship. What is it? I'd rather tell you in person. Did you find Jimmy Lee? Yeah, he's here visiting Buzz. We'll be right over. I was just telling Bobby, the newspaper reports say this thing could turn into a hurricane. I hope it waits until uh, we can finish surgery. So do I. It's frightening when we lose power while we're in OR. Well, at least we have backup generators these days. Remember how it was in the old days? Uh, we better get going if we want to beat that rain. You're right. Uh, Mr. Strauss, this is Alan Quartermain. Uh, listen, I just wanted to let you know that I've had my physical, and uh, yes, you'll be sent the results, but the doctor says that I'm in terrific shape. Yeah, thank you. I'd like to go ahead and double the coverage on my policy. Yeah, that's right. I am I am aware of just uh, how much the premium is going to go up, but you go ahead and get the paperwork done, okay? Thanks. How's Terry? She's fine, and she and Kevin are going on their honeymoon just as soon as she finishes taking care of Jennifer's things in Laurelton. Shall we? Yeah. All right.